Hello everyone, I'm working on the Mercury 9, you can see it sitting in front of me. Um, I'm doing a few things with this project here that I wouldn't have done during the contest. That's BB Dan singing in the background. She's playing a video game. Um, what I'm doing here is this. There's supposed to be a spotlight here. Here's the oil tank, fuel tank, whatever you want to call it. It's going over there. And while I'm talking, I'm going to put a teeny bit of glue right there. Probably going to regret that. Um, I'm putting spotlights on the water, oil fuel tank. No, I'm not going to regret that bit of glue right there. And i got to do it on this one, too. The, um... Aves slash joint here on this light broke from rough handling and it's doing the same on this one over here. So I'm putting a bead of glue on it and smoothing it out with this. Uh, wall tack. And I'm going to put some more silver paint over the top of it and that shouldn't show too much. But anyhow, what I'm doing is I'm putting a spotlight here and here. My original plan was to have three and put one in this back corner back here. But after looking how close to the back corner of that ship is, you never, it wouldn't work. In fact, the one on top of the oil tank may not work at all either. I'm having problems with the spotlights at the moment though. They work. They function. Here's one of them right here. Okay, they're tiny. I did some scale measurements. This is in scale with spotlights I did in World War II at 1350 scale. If I get my power supply out, and I've marked which ends positive and negative on this, it's soldered up with magnet wire. This, this work was done months ago, and it was already shown in a video, my idea behind these spotlights. It's just been so long, none of you probably remember them. But here, here it is lit up. Okay. And if it'll cooperate with me, I'm going to put that spotlight right there, pointing at the ship. Now, it's so bright in here, you don't see where that light is shining, and it was never meant to really light up the ship. If I turn off all the lights in here, which I can't really do easily, and still have you guys see what I'm doing, it, it lights up this part of the ship just fine. And if I put one on this oil tank over here, and i got to move the Mercury 9 project instead of that, I have to point that thing up fairly well to light up the ship here. Let's see something, if that'll work here. I can see it on that. Yeah, I can see it lighting up the ship right there. And you guys can see it too. So I can put it on the end of, edge of the fuel tank pointing up like that. And then one over here pointing at it, and I can see it lighting it too. So that's going to look fine. My problem right now is I tried to glue the styrene tube on the spotlight with some super glue. And the plastic for the LEDs doesn't take the super glue at all. It still hasn't cured. And it's been four or five minutes. And I'm afraid to try some other glue with that super glue in there. And I'm afraid to clean that super glue out because the second I try to clean the super glue out, it's going to bond to whatever else is around it. And then I have a mess and this thing no longer works. So I'm going to let that sit overnight and see if it does anything. The bad part with letting that sit overnight is it stops me. I want to repaint all the mistakes I made on the runway and stuff. Here's the original color of paint. You can see it's really close. I don't have a problem with painting these and fixing them. I've, I can get that detailed with the airbrush and that fine end with the airbrush. I've been practicing on that, making sure I don't mess this up. My problem is I want to paint these at the same time. I also want to paint the fibers for the C-130 at the same time. The fibers are cut. They're ready to go on the C-130. The C-130 has been repaired. I can put the fibers in it. I got the holes drilled out. Everything's good. I have to paint the fibers on the C-130 because they're too close quarters. And that strobe blinking will show up in the uh, red and white position lights. 
red and white position light blinking will show up in the strobe. They have to be painted when they go in there. Okay? So that light leak doesn't leak between the fibers. So I've got to wait on this to paint this. Not my idea of fun. While I'm waiting on that, however, this needs a little bit more smoothing out. Because again, this started its life as a cardboard tube. In fact, you can see where I cut it off. And if you look at this, it looks nothing like a cardboard tube. And it just has a teeny bit of work, one more good primer coat. And this is ready to serve its life as a fuel tank. Once it's primered, I'm going to paint it a light tan, I think. I also got a bunch of decal work to make, a few little tiny signs, and a few other things here and there to do. And I can start finally detailing this, putting the shrubbery in. There's a building that goes here. I've got to light that building up, and that sort of thing. It won't take long to do this stuff. What's been delaying me is this tank. And just finding the free time, life has just been in the way of the free time. Funny, super glue on those two lights are up good and tight. I don't know why it is on these. What the deal is. But anyhow, BB wants a snack. I'm going to go down and let her get a snack. Ah, that one finally is setting up. It'll set up. I'm going to go get BB a snack by the time we come back. That should probably be cured up enough that I can work on this. Back in a little while. All right, everyone. Um, I started working on these spotlights a long time ago. That was back for the Big Spring Contest. And I was working really hard. I cut the pieces for them. Here's the basic parts. It's an LED with magnet wire soldered off the end. And then we had a piece of styrene tubing with three pieces of strip styrene all cut on the chopper. Okay. If you're going to do any scratch building of any kind, you need the chopper. You just do. Okay? Anyhow, I took those and turned them into that one. And that spotlight right there. These work. This spotlight right here is for mounting on top of the building, pointing at the Mercury 9 up there. This spotlight, and I can tell them apart because one of them points way up and one doesn't, goes on top of the oil tank and it's pointing at where the mechanical contact is between the Mercury 9 in the ground okay and what I was gonna say is this there's some tricks I used on this one I measured everything out very carefully before I cut it okay and these spotlights oh wow one of them just broke we just broke the wiring off the end of one of them I'll have to resolder it not a loss it's just been handled really hard and it was never designed to be handled real hard I'll have to redo the soldering on the end of it okay one these spotlights look a little big I know someone's gonna make that comment in World War two they had some really big spotlights and the diameter of that is in scale with the spotlights they used in World War two the barrel is not the barrel is about twice two times longer than it should be it's because I'm using LEDs and there's not much I can do to that without destroying the LED so I just left it the way it was okay so I know it's a teeny bit out of scale um, what I'm gonna do next is drill some holes in the sides of those because I know they would have holes in them and then I'm gonna paint them okay once they're painted I can mount them in the base Begin back to this. Just make sure you measure very well when you're doing this. Okay? I had to super glue the LED into the brass tube. You saw that. But you didn't see me build these. When building them, I used two different types of glue. Both Tamiya. I used the orange label and the green. And if you look at my cute quick tips video on glue, the orange label holds stronger than the green and takes longer to bond it's also and again it is stronger it dissolves more plastic as it does this so I put some drops of the orange on either side of that brass uh, styrene tube and attach the two triangular well trapezoidal pieces let that set up close to 
I mean, pretty much done cured. And then I put the rectangular piece in the bottom. Okay? To adjust, I put the extra thin cement on the trapezoid where it attaches to the styrene tube to soften the bond a little bit and allowed me to reposition to get everything to match up and line up the way I wanted it. Okay? So there you go. That's basically how I built those. I'm going to get that one fixed. Have no fear. That's just a few minutes with the soldering iron. It's not the end of the world, and I know it. Okay? And, yeah, that's actually pretty easy to fix. And then I'm going to paint that tank and primer it, and then paint these guys. I was waiting to get them done because I need to fix my paint mistakes here. Okay? I figured out how to fix them finally. Boy, I really did myself a good number with those paint mistakes too, didn't I? And I realized after I did them that I should have used oil paint instead of what I was using. Because I could have cleaned up oil paint in two seconds. But nope, I didn't. And... Fix the paint mistakes. Paint the fibers for the Hercules, the C-130. And I want to paint the wire leads off this all the same color. So this color, the fibers for the C-130... And the concrete here will all get painted the same color. That's what I've been waiting on, getting these two done so I can do all that painting. Once I do that painting, I can get that electrical done, get the spotlight electrical done, then all the electrical's done, get that attached, and I just start putting everything down in place. Oh yeah, i got to paint the fences that go along there too and put those fences in, but that's not really a huge deal. All right. We are going to put this to bed tonight, and I will be back at this later.